Uh, Steve, uh, Dennis O'Donnell, KPIX San Francisco. Um, can you describe your range of emotions, of emotions right now from winning the game, but also losing KD and Kavon once again? Um, I don't think that I can, honestly. I just told the team I didn't know what to say because, um, you know, on the one hand, I'm so proud of them. <clears throat> uh, just the amazing heart and grit. And on the other, I'm just devastated for, for Kevin. And so it's a, it's, it's a bizarre uh, feeling that, that we all have right now. Um, an incredible win and um, a horrible loss um, at the same time. Arash, over on the left side here. Steve, to your left. Arash Madein with Sportsnet. How many times have you seen the Stephen Clay show just take over a game and deliver when it's all on the line? Um, I've been here five years, so uh, I don't know. 100 plus games times five years. I've seen it an awful lot. It doesn't happen every night, but it seems to happen most nights. Uh, they're amazing shooters, great shooters. Um, Mark Jackson said it years ago. They're the best shooting backcourt of all time. And um, <clears throat> but but maybe what people don't know is is how competitive they are. And I thought I thought that showed tonight. Mark in the front. Steve, Mark Medina Bay Area News Group. We obviously got some of the information regarding Kevin and Kavan with his injuries. But are there any is there any new information to report as well? I believe Bob Myers is going to come in and, and speak uh, on the health front. Uh, I don't really know much. Um, Bob was back there. Uh, during the game, he'll have more information. Go ahead. Anthony Slater with The Athletic. Is there any regrets uh, about bringing Kevin back into the series now that, with what happened? Again, I'm going to leave that to Bob. Right over here, Dan. Let's keep with the Los Angeles Times. It looked like DeMarcus was not going to be in the rotation tonight, and then... Kevin gets hurt. How critical were those four minutes from DeMarcus and DeMarcus and kind of getting everybody back into the game after such a shocking thing? Yeah, I thought DeMarcus was um, fantastic tonight. You know, he stayed ready. Um, he didn't get the first call, um, you know, for that second quarter run. We went to Bogut. And, um, and then with the injury, we, we knew we needed his scoring. And, and he, he stayed ready and, and played a a brilliant game so uh, very happy for him and and um, he's uh, you know he, he's been through an awful lot himself uh, over the last year plus with uh, with his own injuries so this was a great for him individually and and um, very happy for him again over here in the same row Steve Brandon Hurley with the Carroll Times Herald Kawhi Leonard had a huge Leonard had a huge stretch in that fourth quarter he took over the game they regained the lead